Hi everybody, this is an update on TweetDeck. Um, I actually a follow-up video to one that I did about a month and a half ago on how to use TweetDeck, and I put that link in this post above the video, you'll notice it. Um, so there's a new vision, version out, it's awesome. It's 0.21b, and it's this, this TweetDeck application is so much more usable right now for a number of reasons, which, and I actually think that he, he should just start charging for this thing. Um, I'm sure a lot of people won't like that idea, but I'm sure, you know, t I would I would pay ten bucks for this thing, I at least, you know, so because it's it makes my life a lot easier. Um, so just going down the changes, uh, the first thing you'll notice is that it's it's very very quick. If you send a message out of the message box, um, if you shorten a URL, it happens instantaneously. It's a lot lighter on, it's a lot lighter of an application, I guess. Um, and then direct messages, you'll notice over here that your direct me your direct messages that you send are will actually show up in this column. So previously, what I've had to do is, you know, somebody sends me back a message, and you know, um, I'm like, what? What are, what are they talking about right here? I don't know. I forgot that conversation. Then I have to go over and look what I said or what the, what, you know, I, I would lose the thread. So now uh, it's a lot less likely that's that's going to happen. And um, so that's good news. Um, the other thing is that you can actually narrow the columns. So um, if for folks that have like a lot of groups that they create in TweetDeck, um, if, you, if you close a group, it's gone forever. Um, you actually do get a notification now though, okay? So if you're gonna close out a group, at least you're getting a warning. Last time you wouldn't get a warning, boom, your group is gone, you'd have to rebuild it again. And that takes a long time to rebuild those. So. Um, uh, what was I going to say here? Um, direct messages. Oh, okay. So let's go up into the settings tab. You can make these columns narrower. So for, as I was mentioning, for folks that have lots of these groups, these custom groups that they create, um, you can make them narrower, and it's really easy. You go in here, bump. You click narrow, save. It makes them narrower. So what that means is that you, it's just easier to get around on your computer. Um, the other thing in the settings area is that partly cloudy, 60 degrees in Waltham. It's awesome weather lately. Um, the other thing is that with the Twitter API, um, it's actually showing you now the update, like when is uh, TweetDeck going to check for messages in a particular category, like friends, replies, direct messages. And you could say, okay, you know, replies are really important to me. I need to have these things checked like every minute, okay? Um, direct messages, you know, you decide between the two. And what, what's happening, I guess, is you kind of have to add up to 100% or don't go over 100%. Um, but you can just decide which, um, how, much, how much energy you want to devote to um, each category of messages. So you can customize that as well. Um, and I know before I showed people you can do colors and all that stuff and make things, um, you know, make it look like how you want it to look. So we got that. Um, notification sound, you can turn that off, which is nice. And the other uh, thing that's really neat is that that is called TweetDeck Services, okay? Now what's happening is that you're getting your stats now. Before if you wanted to know how many people you were following or what your situation was, you'd actually have to click on your own username, open up your own profile, and then read it down here, and you'd be like, okay, great. And then you go back in and you do something else. Here, it's listed right up here. Um, the one thing is, I, I don't know if it's a downside or not, but basically this is actually pulling data from um, Twitter counter, which I noticed has a slight delay behind Twitter. So here, 1,810 followers. Twitter says 1,828, so there's an 18 person delay or whatever. Um, I, that's not a big deal for me, but I, I just figured I'd point it out. Um, the other neat thing is in the message window, tweet shrink, okay? Now what this does is this tweet shrink makes very long sentences like this, which is pretty verbose, much shorter for my friends who are very busy, okay? So I'm actually, on purpose, I'm making like a really long sentence, okay? Very run on, run on. normally you wouldn't write this. Um, but what you have here is this service right here, tweet shrink, bump, you click on it, and it replaces commonly used words with um, kind of shorthand, which I'm not a huge fan of because 
you know, you could, if you use too much of it, it just looks like a little, you know, a little too impersonal or, you know, almost like you're in high school or something like that. Um, and then the other thing that's really neat is that there's actually the spell checker thing in the message window. Before, we didn't have a spell check. And um, so if you go in here and you have a word, a couple words that are misspelled, it's going to underline it right away, and you'll be able to see, oh, okay, verbose. Um, let me spell that correctly. It doesn't give you the word to replace, which I don't think is a good thing anyhow, because people just need to learn how to spell. Um, and so you have that. The other thing up here is that the... Sh the, the uh, the shorten URL, the URL, URL shortener thing. Um, and this may have been in the last tweet deck, I'm not sure, but I noticed it today. You can actually choose the service that you want and save it, okay? So if you, for, for some reason, you say, wow, I really like snip URL, it's awesome, I just like it for some reason. Um, you, you keep that, when you close out a tweet deck and open it back up tomorrow, it's gonna save that service and remember that you like to have your URLs shortened a certain way, okay? Um, so I think that's pretty much it. I mean, there's a lot of really great changes here, and um, I hope everybody has a great new year. Okay? We'll talk to you soon. Bye.